Yeah, hi guys, Cliff here. If you remember back in October last year, I had a slight um, accident, shall we call it, uh, with the glider getting aero towed up and the uh, cable got caught in the back of the wing. Okay, uh, now the Cavalier build is finished, I'm going to crack on and have a look at this wing and see if we can get it repaired. So I'll just angle you down and see what we can see. I've got my, uh, got my scalpel ready. Scalpel please, here we go. Right, now, just peeking at it, it looks like a previous repair here. Someone's repaired it with some, I'm not sure what it is, steel or well, aluminium, whatever. Something has been repaired. So first job is to strip off the covering and we can see what's happening. Cap strip made of plywood, of course. Let's take it back to, say, here. See what's going on in here. Okay. Front part of this seems to have survived okay. Calf is in quite a lot of trouble there. Hmm. That's broken there. Cap strips come off, so let's take off another panel. See what's going on. These these one eighth look at these look these one eighth um, gussets that the grain's going the wrong way and they've looked like they've been cut out by a well I I could cut it out better using the wrong end of the scalpel. Here oh dear. Still it can be repaired. This is the thing. It can all be fixed. What I'm doing now, I'm marking this bit of uh, building board up with the rib positions because I'm going to build the wing on top of this board. Um, they're actually three inch spacing and four inch at the end. I'm going to leave the end construction here. I'm going to leave leave this bit. It's nice and solid. I don't want to mess with that because I've got my tubes in there for joiners and what have you. So, and this rib here holds the servo. So, any looks reasonable condition, I can work with that one. So I'm going to leave this rib sticking out, but I'm going to remove, that one's broken anyway, look. I'm going to remove all the ribs and the trailing edge. I've made up a start of a trailing edge. It's actually, I've done one mil ply, um, 332nd balsa. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to glue it here on the scarf, cut the ribs, which I haven't done yet. The ribs will lay in over the top and I'll notch it at the back. And then between the ribs put uh, 1 16th, so it'd be a ply sandwich in the middle. Uh, so what I have to do now is to make up the ribs and glue them in place and cap strip them. What I am doing in fact is cutting each rib individually. I was going to sandwich them. I put a trailing edge on. I think I'll explain that just now. And I'm just cutting each rig indi uh, rib individually because it just seems such an easy way to do it. Put that one in. There, down, there, and on, there, like that. 
Okay, one more rib there, and then I'm going to work out that little corner there. And uh, one rib down the far end, and we're done. Looking nice. So I've cleaned it all up. Uh, I've cut myself out a little, um, a decent little piece that'll go in there. That'll go in there like that. And then cap strips can continue over the top. So that's cleaned that up lovely, actually. And there it is. We'll let that set. I've still got to put the balsa wood between each uh, trailing edge. So still a little bit more to go. Drink the end grain. Scarf joint there. Plenty of glue on it. I think a lot of people don't repair planes these days, mainly because they don't know how. Um, strip the covering off, take a look at it, and uh, and you'll see how it goes together. Just while that glue dries on the trailing edge, guys. I go for a nice little stroll through a bit of Devon countryside. Lovely, look at that, what a lovely view. Oh, I can hear a pheasant, I can hear a stream. A bit squelchy underfoot though. Anyway, let's crack on, get some more gluing done. Hit the like button while we're doing this little countryside. Well, there goes a crow, look. That's hard work, flapping up. <laughs> oh, he's gone for the fence. Field. Pigeon. Smirking missus. I think this is called Rose Cottage. Is it called Rose Cottage? Yeah. So he's had a recent roof on this one. Have a little one here. A few more lambs. I'd say first daffodils of the year. Right guys, all the trailing edge filler pieces are glued in and I've tidied up that little bit at the end. I put the new rib in this side and I just have to put, um, I just got to sand this down a little bit and then I'll put the trailing edge piece on and then I can put the capping piece on the top of that so that area will be finished. So. Just give it a quick sand to shape. Let's get in there. I've done the, um, use the plane on it. I'm just quickly just getting it a little bit further down. It's looking pretty good though. Just enjoying a quick cup of tea with my Micro Aces mug. Micro aces. Can you see that? Yes, you can. Cup of tea. Keeps the uh, airways clear. Oh. How are you all doing? A lovely afternoon out there. Just been for the walk. It's a local village there. Quick look around. All very rural. It's doing nice to see um, a few little early signs of spring there, wasn't there? The daffodils and the uh, lambs. Nice cup of tea, it's so refreshing. 
Afternoon tea with Cliff. Anyway, all done, so let's crack on. Enough of this sitting around drinking. And Cliff Harvey's got a plane to build. He doesn't sit around drinking tea, does he? Not if the camera's running anyway. <laughs> a few weeks ago, um, I was called an old school modeler and I've never thought about uh, myself being an old school modeler. Um, and that was uh, Pilot Robert, Patrinsic Brothers. He called me an old school modeler, which uh, I suppose I am. But at the same time, of course, I still embrace modern techniques. I've still got my foam models and uh, construction wise, what have you. So. I just happen to know how to do balsa wood from the old days. Okay, welcome back. I've just started to cut and fit the cap strips and the little triangular, little triangular um, cap strip fronts and. I'm using CA to fix these. The easiest way I can think of doing it is to actually short getting CA all over my fingers, which I'm going to do anyway, is just to put run some CA on the halfway down, fit that and then bend it back and do the other half. That's my plan anyway. It's sticking to me already. Look. Stick that one in there, and that one down there. There we go. We can. Just wipe a couple of those drips off. Okay. I've finished the cap strips and this is the top of the wing finished for construction. So next job is to turn it over and do some more cap strips. Uh, but um, I think I've run out of uh, thin ply. So I'm not going to finish the wing tonight. But she's looking mighty fine. Okay, the cap strips are all on and all I need to do now is to give it a final sand and I can get on the covering. Everything's in place and it's looking more like a wing again. Fantastic, eh? Didn't take much effort. In the end, I cut the ribs individually basing it on this rib and then just cutting it down from the trailing edge forward each rib so they're all the same shape just shorter at the front yeah pleased with that looks a lot better than it did that's for sure 